God will never leave nor forsake us. But God is always by us. But it sure does good when you've got good church men, you got good brothers and sisters that have your back and will be there with you. So that being said, come on, step out. You know somebody's dead. Tell them to glad to sit shake somebody's hand tonight.
Hi. Hey, look at your neighbor and say, I'm glad you're here. Thank you. God, you know something? God loves you and we do too. Right. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God's an awesome God. So if you will help me, I won't keep this long. Now, I can't say I'm on the Holy Ghost to keep this. Praise the Lord. Praise God. He's so good. If you will help me preach tonight, and we'll yield to the move of the God. We'll be blessed. Amen. Amen. I promise you, it's nothing about me. It's all about Him. Yeah. <laughs> I really miss my wife being with us tonight. But uh, due to circumstances, uh, she was afraid to leave because. Uh, my father and mom had a treatment today, and you know, it just knocks him down. So she didn't want to leave him like that. So uh, y'all pray, please do my wife go to pray. She's dead with me this morning. Her plates are really loaded. You know. She won't be for saying that. But, uh, <laughs> you scratch that. <laughs> and so, yeah. She really has something. She's a go-getter. Yeah. Yeah. She really is. Yeah. She's trying to take care of, of her family and me, too. Yeah. 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 That's a chore. Just me. Praise God. He's so good, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Well, thank you so much for being here tonight. We appreciate you. And if you're a minister, thank you so much for being here. Just make your shit up. Missing God's house. You just feel the home. Praise the Lord. If you have your Bibles, we're going to 1 Corinthians chapter 2. <clears throat> Lord, I, you know, some I was uh, out pivoting with my rabbit cages and stuff like that, and just tinkering for whatever you want to call it. I can't say the word because uh, that's a foreign word to me. But, <laughs> but anyway. And, and I said, now, Lord, you know I've been asked to deliver the word tonight. And I said, uh, I need some help. <laughs> I really need some help. I said, those folks don't need something warmed over. They don't need no leftovers. We need something fresh. And we, I said, Lord, you know, and we, we don't need no fast food, too. We need a full board Praise the Lord. And one good thing about it, it's not a buffet, so you ain't gonna get to pick and chew. You have to eat what's on your plate. It's good, you just gotta taste it. Praise the Lord. And if it ain't, just do your best. Praise the Lord. Wow. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter two and verse nine. It's beginning. In God great. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear or heard, neither had entered into the hearts of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. That amazing. It's holding some things back, isn't it? I can't wait to get there. But God hath revealed them unto us by His Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. Brother Woodrow, would you pray, please? Lord, we thank you, God, for what you've done so far in this earth. Lord, we ask, God, that you anoint the preacher, Lord, and anoint our ears and hearts to open up and receive your word. God, we thank you, we give you glory and honor. Praise God. You may be seated. Thank you for standing for the reading of the word. If you'll help me for the next little while and give you just a little bit to be able to count a little fat oh, on here and get this thing kicked off and let the anointing take over, we'll have some church plays yeah. yeah. But I, I want to preach to us for a little bit for you know that there's more to God 
they want some service. Yes. Yes. Praise the Lord. I, I, I want to walk down the avenue in the deep things of God. Yes. Or you have to really pay the bill to get there. Praise the Lord. And so if you just help me for the next little while, I just feel the Holy Ghost in such a sweet way to tonight. And so if you just help me in the next little while, uh, we're going to have church. Praise the Lord. Yes. Uh, I understand what Paul was talking about when he was talking about the deep things of God. Praise the Lord. You know, some, uh, uh, you'll never understand the fullness of your walk with God on the surface. Praise the Lord. And, and I've never been one that won't just be shallow. Praise God. I, I either want it all or really none. If I can say that. Praise the Lord. Praise God. And so I try to give God my all. Honestly, I do. I, and, and, and I want you to realize, if you ever get to the deep things, you'll understand what prayer is about. Because without prayer, you'll never get in the depths of the deep without God. you got to pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There is such thing as intercessory prayer. Yes, Intercessors, praise the Lord. And so you you gonna have to remind yourself and sacrifice somewhere along the line and 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 bow up and tell yourself that I, I you know some I'm not satisfied with my walk with God. You ever been there? I, you know, I, I just they just I, I want to get deeper or closer to it, praise the Lord. Are you with me? Yes, I hope so. Praise the Lord. <laughs> God's so good. I promise you, He's so good. Yes. And if you are, it just, it's so much to God. Yeah. Right. He's satisfying in that. Right. And it's just so much to Him. You know, there's, there's so much that I want to know, and, that, and you know, some I probably won't know until I get over there. Yeah. But, you, you know, I, I'm steady trying. I'm steady digging. I'm steady reading. I'm steady feeling that. I'm steady praying. I'm seeking. And I always bombard heaven with him. And tell him, Lord, I'm not satisfied with where I'm at. I want to get deep, deeper and deeper. Not better than nobody else. Not put myself above nobody else. But I just want to get to a relationship with you, Lord. That, 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 Succeeding something because I'm getting to where I, I believe my goal's at. Praise the Lord. Listen, there are some areas in your life that God can take you in some places that will set you back. I'm not pushing back, but what I mean just blow your mind. I've been there. I've had experiences like that. You know, and I know uh, I've had. You call out the body experiences. I've experienced those things at times. And, and because, you know, I, I, I want to get as close to God as I can get to God. Praise the Lord. I think Holy Ghost, I'm going to take it. I just. Mm, mm, mm. I feel the Holy Ghost. You know. Just on the surface living for God. Just trying to barely get by. That's a hard way to live for God. Praise the Lord. You know, uh, praying every now and then, or praying every once in a while, or, or, or I'll get that later, or praise the Lord. I want you to understand something. If you ever accomplish anything with God, you're going to have to get somewhere in a depth with Him yes. that where you can stand and stand still and stand silent. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. He got great. He's, he's awesome, God. If you're just 
just give me a moment. I, I, I just feel the Holy Ghost in such a way that uh, there's so many ways you can go with this because when I was studying and researching and seeing this out and, and, and following after and everything, there's just so many things come my way. And then I was waiting for the leading of the Holy Ghost and the Lord to overcome because, you know, some, the Lord will put you in the right place. Praise the Lord. And uh, I got to comparing and looking, you know, in like a deep place and then there's deepness. Uh -huh. Praise God. You know, when you're in a deep walk with God, you're equipped. You're equipped with discernment. You're equipped with intelligence. Praise the Lord. Amen. Somebody say praise God. Praise God. He equips you. Listen, you get stronger in other words. The deeper you get, you get stronger with God. Your walk gets stronger. Praise yes. the Lord. Yes. And, 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 and your, your, your walk with Him gets easier. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. You know, the adversary and what's coming up on this old world that we got, we're going to need a walk with God. Do you know? Yeah. Oh. We we're gonna we're gonna definitely need a walk with God like we like we've never had before, and, and we're gonna have to come to ourselves and tell ourselves and hey, listen, uh, uh, my walk. Man, have you ever been there where you say, you know, I just ain't satisfied with this. I, I got to get some. I want something else from God. I, I want to get something else from God. I got to have something else from God. I know there's more out there. I know there's deeper things with Him, and I know that because the, the Scripture says there is. Praise the Lord. Let me show you something over here in the book of Daniel. Daniel 2. Somebody say praise the Lord. In Daniel 2 and 22, he said, He revealed the deep secret things. Huh? I want to know what they are. Praise God. I said, I don't know what they are. I enjoy in the, in when the Lord, the over, when the, when the uh, Chicago glory starts flowing, I, I want to be in that trend. I, I want the power of God flowing. Praise the Lord. I, I want Him to take me to the depths of it. I, I want to explore more about God. I, find favor with me and trust me in them areas. Praise the Lord. I want him to know if nobody else does, Lord, I do. I he said the deep secret things. He knows what is in the darkness. And the light dwells with him. Praise the Lord. I don't want to know what those secret things are. I don't want a shallow walk with Him. I don't want to just get by. I don't want to just be, just, you know, just be a picture of there right now, praise the Lord. I, I don't want easy picking. Hey, listen, whatever it costs me, I'm willing to try to pay that debt that, that to get there, praise the Lord. I'm willing to sacrifice. I'm willing to push the plate back. I, I'm, willing, I'm willing to do those things. I'm willing to pray for uh, however He calls me to prayer. I'm willing to do those things. I'm willing to come wherever it takes, but I want to get to that place that where I long for, where I hunger for. I want to get there where I, I know that your God can be moving and moving out to somebody else and touch somebody else and, and that his light will shine like never before and throw them into this glorious truth. Praise the Lord. Such a great God. Oh my. I'm not lost for words. I just feel full of words. I just, I just, I just feel the Holy Ghost in such a unique way. You know, I, 
There's way I just can't explain how I really feel or as I could. But I, I, I long for those things of God. It's not to be no better than nobody else. No, please don't take it that way. I, I don't, I'm not putting myself above nobody else. I just want to be pleasing to Him. And I tell you, that's all I want my ministry to be. I, 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 want, I want to be whatever He calls me in, whatever area He wants to use me in. I, I just want to be there. Uh, available for whatever he has because I want to get into the deep things and, and believe me I have researched everything Paul and what he talked about and the depths he went to and the things he's seen and, and, and you can read it for yourself it's in there and, and I want those things I want to experience those things praise the Lord and I'm willing to pay whatever it takes to do that whatever he wants me to do or however he wants me to do it I'm willing to do that praise the Lord I want to see the supernatural operate in our church. I want to see the demonstration that offers you this. I'm going in here that when people can be healed automatically and miracles can unfold. Hear what I'm saying? Because that's what happened in the apostles' days, praise the Lord, because they walked in the deeps of the deep of the Lord. That's why they hit with the head. That's why they moved. Like he moved within. Praise the Lord. It's because of who they want with him. Praise the Lord. I refuse to just get by. Honestly, just going to church, just, just, that's part of it. But that's not all of it. Praise God. I said, that's part of it, but that's not all of it. Praise God. I, I want to be a witness. I want that out there to see Him in here. Praise God. That's why I want to walk in the areas of where that they'll, they'll see Him in here. Praise the Lord. You know, the adversary don't want you to get to a place where God can use you mightily. He, he don't care if you're walking in nonchalant. That don't bother him at all. If you, you know, if you're one of those who pray every now and then, that, hey, that's on his alley. Praise the Lord. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody help me tonight. Praise God. You know something? I've experienced some things not long ago. I said, God, I said, now I don't mind you talking, God, this is where I'm talking. I said, God, uh, I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied with my ministry. I'm not satisfied with where I'm at. I said, uh, I know there's more to this. And I said, I, you know, Lord, I don't like this same old revival over and over and over. I said, Lord, I, 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 I'm tired of that. I lose everybody. Well, honestly, we're supposed, you know, some, we're, we're supposed to see the power of the hand of God in the midst of our congregation. Praise the Lord. We are the people of the truth. We do have the power. He did say we could lay hands on the sick and the child. Praise the Lord. I want to get to that place. Not to be somebody. Hey, Lord, listen, God, whatever, just use them. Well, let me be in the midst of it. Praise the Lord. And I told him, I said, Lord, uh, uh, don't take this wrong, God. I said, you already know my thought for you. Say it. I'm going to say it anyway. You know, I mean, what are you going to talk to him? You already know to talk to him. Huh? I said, I'm, I'm, you 
you know what? I'm not satisfied, God. You, I, I, I need some. I need you to do. I need some change. I, I, I want to get in a deeper depth. I, I, I want you to move through this mess. I want you to hide me. Is what I'm trying to say, Lord. I want you to put this flesh out of just slam out of the way. I want you to take Ronnie Warren and put him somewhere out of the way where you got free liberty to work through this temple that which is yours. Like you desire to do when we go in the house of God to deliver your word because your word is what it's all about. And I said, I don't want to be in the way of it, Lord. I don't want one dog thinking, look what I'm doing. Don't drift off over there. I don't want to get over in that thought pattern. I don't want that like that. I want to say, look what God's doing. He's moving in the midst of us. He's moving in the midst of us. And the Lord just feel right over here with him. And allow him to have what he wants to do in here tonight. And we'll get out of the way. And just put ourselves out of the way. And let him come in here and do what he wants to do. If he wants to pour out his spirit for Whatever he's got in his agenda, just do it. God, whatever it is, just do it. That's all, my Lord. And you will give the credit on every hand. We'll worship you in every pain and spirit and truth. We'll lift you up like you're supposed to be. We'll exalt you in all manners. We'll hold you there, Lord. We just give us out the way for you to do the work. Like you long to do in this place.
Paul said these words. Second Corinthians. Chapter 8. Verse 25. Paul said these words. Glass was I beat. With rods. Once will I stumble. Glass I serve with shit there. A night and a day I have been in the deep. What an awful, I mean an awesome, pardon me, an awesome experience. But look what it took to get in there. Oh, he wasn't laying in the lounge chair. Thrice was I beat. Get as deep in the spirit with God as I can get. I don't know about your walk, but I'm not satisfied with mine. I promise you, I'm not satisfied with mine. Why? Because there's more and more and greater things. And there's some secret things that I'm trying to find out about. And there's some things that I've had a taste of that I didn't get all I wanted. Praise the Lord. You ever been there and get a taste of something you? Like Dutch chocolate bluebell. <laughs> Sister Warm stand over I'm eating fast as I can and push the ground. <laughs> well, you gotta laugh about something. But I'm trying to tell you, give you an illustration about home. Right. 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 I got a taste of the Almighty. Oh, yeah. And nothing else matters. I said, nothing else matters. And I got a taste of being a people place for Him. That's all that matters to me. Because I know I'm getting closer to the need, and I understand that. And I want to get just as far with Him as I can. I want to be pleasing in His sight and every way I can. I want to open up to him, and I want him to use this vessel. I want him to use this vessel in any passion that he wants to use it, in any manner, whatever it is. If it's healing, if it's miracles, if it's just bringing them to the altar, if it's just laying on hands, if it's just reaching out, witnessing, if it's just being a light in the midst of him, if it's whatever it may be, I just want to be there for him.
He draw me to a place of prayer. And I start praying and seeking Him and saying, Lord, give me the instructions. What direction? Where are we going with this? What's unfolding about this? Oh, God, I'm eager to do it because I want you to get the glory. I want you to be lifted up. I want you to do it. I want them to know all about you. And so, Lord, you just point me in that direction. And I promise you, they'll never know. I don't care if they know my name if they make any difference because that don't matter here or there because I couldn't do anything anyway. And so, I want you, Lord, to minister to this vessel, to reach out to them because you know them through and through. And you know they're naked and open before you. And so God, let me heal the place that where you can touch them in a fashion. Let them bring them to a place where I hold them with desire to get deeper in what they are. Don't you realize something? If you don't get rooted and grounded in this truth, you will not stand. Right. Honestly. If you don't sell out to this truth, you'll never make it. I said you'll never make it. You gotta put your all in this. Yes. Because he put his all in you. Yes. Calvary put him dead. You hear what I'm saying? I said, Calvary put him dead. Yes. Lord. And I know that there's things of God that we've never touched the surface. Yes. Our generations we're living in in this day and time has never ever touched the surface of what God really wants to do in our hour we're living in. Amen. It's His desire to be operating in the demonstration of His gifts in the church. It's His desire to pour out miracles in our midst. It's His desire to heal broken hearted. You hear what I'm saying? It's his desire to open up the understanding to the unlearned. It's his desire to put conviction upon such a heart to draw it to the altar. Then we can deal with it through a method of repentance and fill that vessel with his spirit. I'm telling you, we need to move in a deeper depth than we ever been. We need to seek out the things of God like we never saw that before. We need to be willing vessels and open up to Him and say, not my will, Lord. Not my will, Lord. But my will be done. You know, there's some things about the service. To be honest with you, that for one thing, the surface just moving around with the surface part and get stagnated. Huh? No freshness. Nothing, nothing flowing. The flow of it is stopped somewhere. And being shallow in prayer won't get you anywhere but a bunch of words or whatever you're saying. Help me tonight, would you? There's a purpose in everything the Lord does. Amen. 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 He already knows that I'm 
after everything he has to offer that mankind can have. Praise the Lord. I don't want to just come to church and have a feel good service and go home. How is church? Well, as usual. The Sunday was good. I'm throwing stones. I'm just trying to get a point across that God gave me for if we ever see a church. It'll draw all souls into it. We won't be playing around the service. Why do you think our pastors at 3 o'clock Saturday to 6? And you're thinking, Saturday? Yeah. 
sitting on that back that old man. You were that old man. You take it. I sure will. And guess what? When I get it, I ain't sharing it. Honestly, listen. You can't do anything on the surface if you want to really know what it's really like. You got to in the deep. You know, Jesus told his disciples, he said, oh, they've been torn and fishing and torn and fishing and throwing and fishing, carrying on and, like we do in call men. Praise the Lord. And Jesus says, Watch out into the deep. Well, you know what? I'm fishing around the bank all day long, but I thought this was a big old real world. I didn't know that, you know what? 100 degree weather, they was down there where it was cool. Right, yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 And so, I throw it out there. I see that deal look about 15 foot, throw it out there. Went out just a little bit. <laughs> It's in the deep. But the father kept fishing around the bank. I never would have experienced the catch of it. Where was it? That's why I said, my child, into the deep. It's time to leave the bank and weighed out past ankle deep. Let's just go on get knee deep. And then let's take the knee deep. Let's just go on and let's just get waist deep. Are you with me? I hope so. Because I feel the Holy Ghost in such a power in such a way. In such a mood and I hope it, oh, there's no chance what God do if you if you would just yield. What you want? Open up. Amen. Just open up. Here I am, God. Here I am, God. Don't pass me up, God. Don't run. Don't walk by me, God. Here I am. Don't run by me, God. Here I am. I need a touch tonight, God. You know I've been weary all day. I come here. I wrestle with this, and, and I've done this and that, and, and every way I turn, this is broke. That's quit. This ain't working. That don't work. And God, just tonight, God. I just just know you better call on I don't need a uh, overshadowed time. I just need a touch, Lord. It's not the table. It's the Lord that somehow I'm gonna let me step out a little deeper where you can touch me like I need to be touched. And if you want to carry me all the way down, I'm willing to go, Lord. It's all Shallow. One expression, old Webster said, we're just skin deep. That's what Webster said. He said, uh, the surface being shallow, it's just skin deep. That's all. I'm willing to take the chances. I'm willing to run out on a limb. 
I'm willing to sacrifice whatever it takes, Lord. I'm willing to do whatever you see me to do. Whatever you instruct me to do, I'm willing to do it, Lord. You just let me know whatever I need to do, but I'm going to do it, Lord, and do it with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind. Why? Because I wanted to do things with you, Lord. I'm not satisfied. Just be important. I'm sorry. I'm running out of time. Please forgive me. But I just know God wants to take this and run with it. Come on, man. He wants to take us to a, a different level. Honestly, He wants to take us to a different level.
in the spirit. I wanted supernatural Shekinah glory just to flow in here tonight. Minister to our hearts tonight. Let's open up to him like we've never opened up before. Let's heal ourselves to the room of the spirit and see what God has for us tonight. I know there's someone that wants of God to come their way. I know somebody needs a touch from God. I know somebody needs instructions. I know somebody needs a word from God. I know you need a blessing. And I know someone needs to feel His divine presence in their soul. I know you need healing. I know you need physical healing. I know you need spiritual healing. Understand those terms. And it's all in the deep things of the Almighty God. The deep things.